Hi, I'm Father Rich Miserandino, and this is St. Bernadette Catholic Church in Springfield, Virginia, and we're celebrating the 30th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In our Gospel reading this week from St. Luke, we hear about the famous parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector. Both of them go to the church to pray. The Pharisee justifies himself in a really arrogant way, and the tax collector stands in the back of the church and says, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner, and he won't even raise his eyes to God. And God obviously favors the prayer of the humble. And in a certain sense, that reminds us about the, the beautiful virtue we have in growing in God and confession, and specifically through a habit of repentance each and every day of our lives, so that we can accept that mercy and grow into the saints we're supposed to be in Christ. One of the best ways to do that, to keep humble, to keep like that tax collector, is the act of contrition. And one of the best times to pray the act of contrition is right before bed each night. It's kind of an insurance policy, because, you know, every day except for one in this life, you're going to wake up. But that day that you don't, you're going to be really glad that you prayed the act of contrition. So for your challenge this week, if you're not already doing it, is to print out the act of contrition. It can be just on a little card like this and lay it next to your bed. And each night before you go to bed, pray that act of contrition. Ask God for his mercy. Make that a part of your habit of prayer, that examination and that prayer for God's mercy so that you stay humble and you stay in God's good graces and that you realize that the love and mercy of God will be poured out on you in the next day and in the life to come. May God bless you and have a good Sunday.